Hello friends, today we will have a visit from a high voltage substation control room which you can see here and I am going to introduce this control room and its panel boards uh, to you. It's a 230 kV substation but it makes no difference and the panel boards in a high voltage substation are almost the same. Now I'm going to introduce these panel boards one by one to you. This board you see here is the control panel board. The substation we're in is 230 to 33 kV. So we have two control panel boards. This is the 230 kV control panel board and on the other side is the 33 kV control panel board. This substation has two incoming bays, two outgoing bays and one coupling which as you see here is an edge configuration type. So this is the control panel board of the 230 kV line. Okay, we go to this side. This is the control panel board of the 33 kV line. Here also we have two incomings, T1 and T2, one coupling, and the others are the outgoing feeders. After the control panel boards, we have a protection panel board, which is installed behind these boards. Well, here you can see the substation protection panel board, which comprises protection panel boards for two incoming and two outgoing bays. All these boards utilize Siemens relays. I mean differential relay, distance relay, um, another line differential relay, here are overcurrent relays and their subsets are the test boxes and in the same way we have differential distance and a differential for another lines bay. Another panel board we have in control room of a high voltage substation is the measurement panel board which is specified by Q letter. The power metering devices are in here for measuring the power. This panel which is indicated by UB is the interface panel board and includes terminals and glass relays. All the signals from the substation area enter this panel board and its outgoing is utilized in the circuit. So this is the UB panel or interface panel. Another panel board we have is the YV or SCADA panel. The SCADA panel board receives the signals from UB panel board and sends them to RTU panel board and from there they are sent for dispatching. Well, you got familiar with SCADA panel board indicated by YV. Another panel board in control room is the AVR panel board you see here. This one is for one of the line bays and this one for another bay. In fact for two other bays. That previous one was for the development bay. So this is the AVR panel board this is the FR or fault recorder panel board which records the faults. 
And this one is the ER or event recorder panel board, which as you see records the events. All events that occur in the substation, including connections and disconnections and status, are recorded in this panel board and we can see. This is the RTU panel board, another board in the high voltage substation control room which receives all signals from SCADA and sends them to dispatching. RTU stands for Remote Terminal Unit, which is responsible for sending signals to dispatching. Another panel board in high voltage substation control room is the battery charger panel board, which you can see here and supplies the command circuits and its output is DC. The other panel board in the high voltage substation control room is the substation internal consumption panel board, the incoming of which is from the auxiliary transformers installed in the substation area and its outgoing goes for the internal consumption of the substation. This is the UPS panel board which gives us an uninterruptible output. This is a 60 kVA UPS panel board installed in the high voltage substation control room. Well, I hope you're now familiar with high voltage substation control room and the panel boards installed inside them. For more information about these panel boards, you can visit our website at www.rojbin.com. Good luck.